Hi, I'm Greg Lessons, London Fire Brigade Nutritionist, and today I'm going to talk you through my uh, bean chilli uh, recipe. It's uh, a meat-free dish, which I recommend you have a meat-free dish at least once a week. Give yourself a break from meat. And uh, lots of fibre, lots of micronutrients, lots of great nutrition going on in this recipe. So the first thing we've done, I've got a, uh, a pan with some rapeseed oil. Heat it up, so the first thing that's going in is the onion on a medium kind of heat. We just want to soften the onion for a couple of minutes. While that's browning, I've got some boiled water. I'm just going to do 250 millilitres of vegetable stock. Move the onion a bit. And the beans we're using today are red kidney beans and kind of mixed beans. You can use any beans really. So now the onion's brown, we're going to add the carrot, chopped carrot, carrot and celery. So the fish stock is now going in. Straight after the carrots and the celery. And we're going to start putting in the herbs and spices. So you can crush things like ginger and garlic. Use the crusher just to save yourself some time. After the ginger, a couple of cloves of garlic. There it is. So we're going to be adding two teaspoons of each of those herbs and spices. So oregano, chili powder, chili flakes, paprika. Stir all of that in. Okay, so in with the green peppers after your herbs and spices. Straight in. You can throw in a can of chopped tomatoes. So this serves four. In they go. So you don't waste any of that lovely tomato juice, just swish some water around in the can and top it up. Now everything's more or less in, we, we still haven't added the beans yet, that's 10 minutes before the end. I'm going to let the mixture simmer for about 45 minutes or so on a low to moderate heat um, and give it the odd stir. Ten minutes from the end now, so I'm going to drain the beans and rinse them off. Stir them in. Use your judgement. If it's looking a little bit dry, add a little bit of water. Otherwise, just let it simmer. Stir occasionally. For ten minutes' time, it'll be ready. So we're using we use brown rice instead of white rice for several reasons. First of all better uh, effect on blood sugar, slightly more fibre, more vitamins, also, just much healthier in general. So this is perfect for freezing. So you can cook a big batch of it and then have it to eat later. And I promise you, you will not miss the meat. And there you have it. Bean chilli with whole grain brown rice. Are those pesky kids and pets trying to take you away from the cooking and demand your attention? Fine, go and join them, but make sure the cooking's turned off. That just leaves me to say, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.